Perfect. Hello. Welcome. Hi. Uh, but I was saying, um, I nearly got everyone to level 99. There's only two characters that I missed just because of how long this actually takes. But at a time, 54 hours. What was the last file that I saved on before I started doing all this grinding? Uh, it was somewhere... Yeah, it was right here. 28. So that's how much time I spent grinding up levels. Yeah. Nearly everyone's level 99. With everything that they can have at this point maxed out. Hey, Esco. So that's... Who isn't? Just these two characters. Julie and Three of Heart. Everyone else is level 99. They have pretty much every spell. I've done some very silly things with their builds. Yeah. Yeah. Why did I grind a 99? Because I like grinding a 99 when I finish this. I know people are going to be like, Good, you don't have to do that. The game's easy enough. It's like, yeah, I already know the game's easy enough. The second... The second... What if... The second that you pull, get to have your entire party back, you're strong enough to take down Kefka's tower. You don't have to do any grinding in this game, and that is one of the things I love about it. I mean, speedrunners have beaten this game, and, I, and that just proves how easy it is to actually get past Kefka. It's that's something you need to do. I didn't ignore that link. Why is that even posting right now? You're not supposed to post yet, Link. Hmm. Oh, the link gave away what our uh, sponsorship is for later. Silly Link. Silly Link, I'm gonna have to kill you now. Must kill. I can't believe I have to shotgun a Link. Right now. But here it goes. Isn't that sad? It's not supposed to be happening right now. Go away. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, moving on. We only had a few things left that we had to do, so let's go take care of everything else that still needs to be done, which isn't that much. I was just finishing up this area, and then one more, and we're done. I'm hungry. Hungry, 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 hungry. Miss Lynn, eat. Or I won't let you through. I love me some coral. You got any on ya? No. Skin flint. Get out of here. I don't have any coral on me, though. This begins the minigame in here. We have to go find coral. It's a safe point. Well, it's nice that we can see ourselves on the map. This says you're gonna delete the final boss. Oh, you have no idea. We are more than prepared to fight the final boss. Also, say hello to my uh, my sensor build. It's called Roll the Dice. I've just given him nothing but dice, so he can just roll as many times as he wants. Also, I've turned Krill into an enemy of destruction by giving her a Genji glove and the ability to hit super hard. And this is why I love breaking this game, because people are like, oh, magic's the best stat. This is the best stat. It's like, no, if you get everyone to level 99, everything's the best. Just do whatever the hell you want. Who cares? Have fun with it. Go crazy. You want to cast some crazy spells? Cast some, cast some crazy spells. I don't know anymore, man. I can just use this if I wanted, because why not? Hey, Pixie. Where's my eatable dice? Go! Go more dice! Yeah. Also, if you think that's where this build ends... Where was the last game, little girl? My brain broke, okay? I've been grinding so much, but yes, Realm. What's up, Pixie? And yes, I hate the coral stuff, too. We. E. E.
I'm not feeding it its coral until I have all of it together. I just cruised through here with my mog and my party to save myself the headache. A piece of the coral, yay. Get him, dice. Get him again. Look at that. The power of dice. Two pieces of coral. It's a good thing there's a map up there that I can cheat with. One piece of coral. Teleporter. Two pieces of coral. My museum in Skyrim sorts itself out, I'll pay attention to this. You mean you'll pay attention to pieces of coral? Get him, dice! Get him again! Yeah. Power of dice. Two anger issues. Oh, yeah! Esco told me about another neat bug where apparently in this version, if you put Gao and uh, Mog in the same party and have them use a Rage and Dance ability, it'll cause one character in your party to also do it for some weird reason that I, I have no idea how to fathom. It happens. Yeah, dice. Yeah. Wait, hold on. What growth egg? Uh, you know what? Your build's finished. Enough. I don't. I don't know. What else can I even do with you? Can I give you more agility? You're fast as heck already. Who's the fastest character that I have? It's Setzer. Good job, Setzer. I'm proud of you. You know, we're gonna make you go faster naturally. Uh, later. Basically, borrow from Ma how Mog does it. Different dances do different things and give you different skills. Sort of a mix between summoner and bard. Oh, that sounds neat, though. Get him with the dice. And again. So, you know, what sucks about the dice build is that it, it has a chance to do a lot. But it also it does abysmally little this late. It's just funny to watch. Because, again, my characters are so strong that I don't have to care what they decide to do. Also, hi, Gale. How are you? I think I said that already, but... Like I said, my brain has been broken for me just grinding all, like almost all day. Play between Gawa activating his blitz and then using an attack or ability so it makes the game think that the other character activated it. What the heck? What the heck? That's crazy. So you do one dance for like 45 seconds with one rotation and swap to another dance for another rotation. That actually sounds pretty cool though. I like that fuse. Ah, uh, yes. Everyone's just gonna whiff. Whiff all the attacks. Yeah, heal him. Good. He needed the healing. Hold on, I'm, I'm gonna change one thing. You, Jom Jom, you need to stop that with the healing staff, okay? Alright. Alright, I think I have enough Coral to get out of here. I hope. Okay, this definitely feels like I have enough coral at this point. See? It's much better. I I just seriously, I love how little damage that does. Also, the teleportation stones should just help you get out of here. So you, you can just go back if you wanted, but I'm not leaving. Get all of the coral. Yay! Coral! Quick save. Yes, I have coral on me. Munch. 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 Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Corpulence is happiness, and I'm stuffed. Alright, you wanted to get through here, didn't you? Oh, shouldn't I ate so much. And there he goes. Go dice! Go dice again! Yeah. 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 Look at that damage. No one ever expects Realm to do that much physical damage. People always probably just make her sketch stuff and never use that ability ever. Locks us out of the bathroom. Luckily, there's a hole in the closet connected to the bathroom, so we had to have her climb it on the closet shelf so the hole to unlock it. What the heck? That's heat on. Hello. Want to give him a spoof? Ow. Um. Hey, go ahead. Use this. Yeah. 
you. So there's the thing that this boss teaches Jom Joms while he's in here. If the boss ever gets a chance to cast it, and it's not going to, I yeah, it's gone. Okay, never mind. Well, that there goes that boss. Did it! I really beat it on. I have to tell Gung Ho he's been avenged. Yeah, that uh Oops. A little too strong. Gung Ho! Gung Ho! With all the fuss. Can't an injured man get some rest? Gung Ho, listen to me. If he did hit on. You what? You, you beat hit on. You're lying. Nope, he's not. He will. He did it. Ho ho ho. Well, a little monster like Hidon could hardly expect to stand up to the likes of me. I can't believe it. But it looks like I have to concede defeat. You showed me up, old man. Ho ho. By the way, how are your wounds healing, Gung Ho? Huh? Oh, my wounds. Yes, they're fine. He was faking it all along. That evening... Well, there I was, creeping through those caves that seemed to go on forever. Finally reached the deepest, darkest cavern, and there he is, right in front of me. Stared the ugly brute straight in the eye, raised my staff, and let him have it. Bam! Thwack! Pow! Right in the kisser. Oh, I wish you could have seen, been there to see me. Oh, and then... Someone I was with threw dice at it and destroyed it. Oh, nice, Gail. You cleared, uh, you cleared the fight. Congratulations, and uh, have fun on Dragon Song. Where's Grandpa? Hmm? Oh, I think he finally tired himself out from all that jabbering and nodded off. But do you think it's okay to leave it like this, with him thinking I was really hurt? Don't worry about it. If we hadn't tweaked him, he'd have spent the rest of his wife doing nothing but talk. And even if you were faking, that monster wasn't. I don't know how a man like him ever managed to raise a granddaughter as wonderful as you. Yeah? Well, I don't know how anyone could be as terrible an actor as you. Jom Jom's probably the only man alive who would fall for a performance like that. Wrecked. What did you say? Doubly wrecked. I'm sorry. We, you've been deceived. Yeah, he... Also, wait, hold on. Magic. You have all the magic in the game, so what's, uh, what's up with you? Where's your magic at? You, you have all the magic now, but a second ago I used the magic command and you, you didn't. What's that about, Julie? Punkin' me? Julie's punkin' me. Alright, well, time to go do the other final last thing that we didn't finish yet. Wee! Because if you notice, there's a weird marker right here on the map. There's another chocobo for us. That's where we need to go. No, I'm just kidding. Where is... Where'd I leave you? Where'd I, where'd I leave the castle? Is it over here? Somewhere around here. It should be here. There you are. Okay. We're gonna go back in this castle. No, I'm just I'm back in this castle right here. If I'm going to the castle, I feel like I just need to take uh, Cinder and Rufy up. Besides, it's Cinder's birthday, too. Cinder definitely has to come with us. I feel like it just fits, you know? It just makes sense. Party members. I'm still gonna take these two with us so that way they can keep leveling up, or at least for a little bit longer. Okay. Now I have to give people their equipment. No, not that. Yet. Yeah. Yes. Oh yes, and I have a ton of these. What do they do? They lower MP cost to one, because I've managed to farm that many while I was doing all this grinding. Hey, Ralph. How's it going? Actually, yeah, take one holy lance. for the clown honk honk as are we all 
Alright, these two are fine as is. Alright. Take the wheel. Let's get going. Land the plane. Yeah, there really wasn't that much left for us to do when we left off. Honestly, I probably could have finished the game then, but like I said, I wanted to max out everything. I got close enough. But hey, I spent a lot of time just watching random videos while I was doing that. It was a very, very long time. The stratum's unusually rough. We seem to be catching out of something. Stop here. We go in through, not this entrance. No. To get in, if you see that message pop up, you want to tell them to stop here. And then you go back through the prison. Because now this door is open. We can go in through here. And we're now in the cave of the ancient castle, which has this neat song again. Which I actually like a lot. I'm happy it's back. You only hear it like a couple times. Yeah. So, um, one thing I should take note of. Cinder's strength is like a 60, but because of that's and how people in their attack command actually goes up. It, what the attack command does, it increases in power, not just based on strength, but also on level. Which is why every character can pretty much do ridiculous damage eventually. With just random attacks. Just from doing that. Use an auto crossbow, but use your Razor Gale Blitz. But the reason why Cinder's maxed in uh, magic and not strength is because all of his blitzes, except for two, scale with magic. Uh, the only two of them don't, and I'm pretty sure that's the, the first one that you get, and then the one that everybody loves, Meteor Strike. That did nothing. I like because it resistant to win. Death Tarot. Oh, that's actually a thing for you. Yeah, except you're not going to use that. The dice are funny. I just really like the idea of him just throwing dice at everything and them slowly dying. Ah! I don't know, I'm a simple man. Back to the front of the party. There we go. Ugh. Did everyone have a good weekend so far? Uh, how is everyone in chat? Are you all doing well? I sure hope so. Go dice! Go dice again! Feeling better now that I quit my static. Good! Monster in a box. Oh no! And whoa, yes. It's a master tech. No, it's a master tonberry. Oh no. Whatever will we do? Throw dice at it. It is spews. Oh, and there he goes. Perhaps. Perhaps we are too strong for this. Hey, I got a gladius. Nice. Hello. Ah. Yeah, I'm glad. But yeah, sometimes it is good to just quit a static, either when it's not working out or you're just tired of raiding. Which happens. Raid burnout's a thing. Any game that you just play constantly can lead to burnout. So always take breaks. Don't worry about what other people are doing. If you're feeling a burnout and you're not having fun playing something, never feel like you, you have to obligate yourself to just continue playing. 
one fourteen break right now. I just had too much on my plate. Mm -hmm. I mean, that can happen. I there was in one of the first raid groups that I had to manage. There was a, a group of people that refused to leave, even though I could visibly tell that they were being stressed out because they had so much going on outside of raiding, and I had to sit down with them on a day that we weren't raiding and just be like, look, dude, I know you're busy and I appreciate you wanting to show up for raids, but I can tell that you're stressed out by doing this. You show up, let you fall asleep during raids. You're not as focused as you, know, you used to be. And I just know that you're not having fun with it anymore. If you want to stop raiding, that's fine. No one's going to hate you or anything. We'll still talk to you. And then he quit playing 14 and never came back. But he was happier for it. He messaged me about that. He was like, I get to spend more time with my family and I'm just overall happier. <laughs> but I've never seen him again since. What is this place? That's an excellent question. Oh no! The Ronkin Ruins! Man, that one guy's just getting pelted. It's an Esper attack! This is the site of a thousand year old battle. Thank you, Gogo. Lord Odin is the only Esper left to us. Has he recovered from his injuries? Does it matter? We have no other choice. We must leave this final bat battle in Odin's hands. <gasps> it's up to Odin. A city destroyed during the War of the Magi. <gasps> Zansetsukin. Whoa. Good job, Odin. Also, those sprites, they were all actually split already before Odin touches them. It's just that during that animation, they they just have them get split in half by having them detach. But they were never actually put together in the first place. <gasps> oh no! Odin! Impressive, I never thought you would be able to turn me to stone. There's a legend that tells of an ancient battle between the Esper Odin and a powerful Magus. It took place in the Great Hall of a Castle. Oh, okay. We recently had a situation where a majority of us wanted to do more- wanted to raid more than one day a week, and two people thought we had conspired to kick them out or something. It was pretty stressful to deal with them because they were friends. Now they won't speak to me. Oh, no! Yeah, I understand, like, when people want to raid more, I, and for the people that want to raid more, it's because they have the time and available, uh, availability to do it, and it's not... It's not fair to those people to not let them want to raid as much as they can, because, I mean... Hi, Leona. Because, I mean... Yes, you want to play with your friends, but it, you also want to, you know, get stuff done. And if you're only meeting up once a week, I'm going to be honest with you, that's pretty low. And that can be hard for people to retain that memory for, like, what to do during fights. If it's just once a week. Hey, Kiva. I'm having way too much fun watching Sensor throw dice. Ooh. Punisher. What is that? Sick. Where is it? Equip it. Should really make Cinder do a different attack. If we go to beat up Kafka, does that make us the mobs and bosses from Elden Ring? Yes. In fact, he gets such an ass whooping, that's why he gets sent to the world of, uh. Oh, uh oh, hold on. Oh no. Look out! The most fearsome enemy ever. However, can we defeat this foe? 
so um I don't know I don't know maybe that and I'll just sit here and wait I'm looking forward to the future mods the pixel remaster discord is working on for these games oh boy that'd be nice no 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 look look sir look I'm not gonna do anything you just keep getting confused okay because for some reason you're susceptible to this and it's funny Hey, wait a minute. Well, that's not working anymore. Sadness. So there's a funny way that this boss kills itself, but it doesn't want to do it now, so I'm sad. Fine. <laughs> this is silly to look at now. Oh, wait, what is this? amusing to me. reason the auto battle mode whenever you use it with go go after the first time you do it it just breaks that's a bug that i noticed it's a little bit strange so go go kind of makes it hard to just do auto battles and we got a master scroll what does the master scroll do it makes it so that way a character that's wielding it can just go crazy with attacks group of warriors weapon mastery allows the bear to attack four times per turn so now I can give that to uh, our dice wielder here, and he'll just go absolutely bonkers with his dice rolls. Is it effective to do this over, I don't know, a character that can consistently hit 9,000s? No. It's just amusing. Yes. Yes, it is. Any character with this is incredibly strong. Attack! Yeah, get him. Go, go for it. There he goes. Keep rolling your dice. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like he's playing a D&D game now. <laughs> go get him, champ. <laughs> oh, man. It's exactly... Throwing a bunch of D6s. There's a book encrusted with glittering gems, The Queen's Diary. I've fallen in love with Odin and it is a forbidden love. I know, but the flames of passion only obey not rule or reason. Every time I think of that noble man, my heart flutters and fans the flames yet more. And who could rightly fault it? When the fighting ends, I shall tell him I must. But Hey, okay, cool. That's just basic attack is rolling for new character stats. Yeah, he's just like and reroll, reroll, reroll. There he goes. Look at him go. Look at him go. Look at him go. I love Setzer. Never change, friend. Oh wait, Rufia is still just absolutely going randomized to everything. Hello, Odin. Odin crumbles, leaving behind a shard of magicite. I don't need... Oh, neat.
Yeah, there's the Odin Esper, finally. It's now in our inventory, instead of just being gone. Even though I've had people master it because... Yeah, we cheated for that. <laughs> but I mean, hey, why not? Hey, a dragon! Hello, dragon! This is the blue dragon. Hello, blue dragon. Yeah. The sprite yeah, the dragon sprites are adorable, aren't they? Yeah, look at him go. Yeah, go sensor. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that was actually a bunch of nines. What is going on? Those are actually some incredible rolls. But he killed it! He killed it with dice! By the way, I just wanted to showcase something. Setzer's damage with the dice is random. It's not based on his level, so he could have done that no matter what, just from him having that. And we got Zen Sets again. Two dragons remaining. Neat. Even the queen was turned to stone. From the stone, is that a tear? Odin's magicite surges with newfound power. Odin becomes Raiden, and now... The Esper that we had for Odin is now Raiden, and this is gone. Leaves all enemies in two, causing instant death. Hey, Clef. Clef, uh, Kea showed me your email. Uh, don't worry about it. Um, worst comes to worst, okay, we will see you again soon. I didn't show him the second one. Yeah, that's true, she didn't. She didn't show me the second one yet. Hey, Oceano. So yeah, this is this is just me showing people who, who'd want to be like, oh, but Zyros, you made the game too easy by leveling up everybody to 99. It's like, do you, 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 you realize that by just playing the game, the game gives you the tools to just be broken anyway. And by doing all this extra searching. So, yes. The second you don't go immediately to Kafka's tower once it's basically available, you pretty much made the game easier. And I like playing these games so that way I can see my favorite characters just go completely wacky with the tools that the game gives me. That's how I've always handled Endgame. Well, not always, it's a lie. Because I'm thinking back to Final Fantasy V. I didn't do that. I did it in 4 because 4 was hilarious and I also got sick of the encounter rate. So I was just like, if I just make my characters broken, they can handle everything just fine on their own. And I didn't do that in 3 either. In 3 was actually kind of a close fight, but 5 we actually died to the boss. Fusing with Genji Glove, Master Scroll, Twin Atma weapons way back. Exactly! That's another strategy that works really well. Slap that on a, on lock with a Valiant Knife and an Ultima Weapon or Atma Weapon, whatever you want to call it, Ray. And he, he just wins the game. His, his... I don't know why, his stats just go insanely strong. Plus those weapons also ignore your um, defense, so they just tear through everything. And then if you go to the Magic Tower and you get Dual Cast and put that on Terra, you can clear out anything pretty much instantly. Back to another stream. Hey Zora, what's up? Hello. Always good to see everyone who stops by to say hi. Oh, that's it for this place. Though so that was it. You just come in here to get riding. Yeah, throw the dice. Throw more dice. Four. He's getting his bad rolls out, guys. He's getting his bad rolls out. That's all. Ooh, that was a bad roll. Ooh. He used all the good right, uh, the good dice rolls on the uh, the dragon. Yeah, we're done here though. I'm doing good, Zora. Thank you. Wait, can I just teleport out? Yep. Is that possible? No. Yeah, I'm doing well. You know, I'm just gonna finish up this Final Fantasy stream and then we're gonna move on to Elden Ring. Or I'm just having fun watching my favorite characters be silly. If 
Bao Fu. Uh, we don't go that way, we go this way. Ah. Also, to make this build completely silly, I have increased Setzer's speed as much as I can while leveling him up. So that makes it so that way he his turns come up just a little bit faster than everyone else's. So he has the chance of being able to do this more quickly than everyone. And again, this is a build that is very viable, also very silly. Have we ever confirmed or not if Gogo -Go was banned or was banned and canonically dead? Uh, Gogo -Go is Gogo -Go from Final Fantasy V. It's the same character. So it's not Bannon. Because this game... So a little, little just thing about like the development of this. 5 has a bunch of things in it that were then recycled into 6. And then... The reason why I'm contemplating still playing the original 7 is because there are concepts in Final Fantasy 6 that are taken and put into Final Fantasy 7 because they wanted Final Fantasy 7 to originally be a sequel to Final Fantasy 6. And then opted out of doing that. Yeah, that was going to be a follow-up. That would have actually been what happened after the events of Final Fantasy 6. And it would have been much more connected. I, I thought that was neat. Zaros, have you ever heard of a game called Twisted Wonderland? Yes! I've heard of Twisted Wonderland, the mobile game, right, Zara? Edgar found in Midgard. Yes. That explains the similarities. Well, I mean, it explains the similarities between Kafka and Sephiroth. Back when it was a SNES CD game, I think. Yep. That was when they wanted to do that. Restart the engines. Yeah, I know exactly what that is, Zora. We actually have a channel for it in the Discord because a few of us play it. Hey, yeah, they put. Mhm. Mm I have. It's a neat concept. I like it. All right. And now to go to Kafka's Tower because I've gotten everything that I need. I still have a bunch of money, but I don't care. I have all the extra equipment. I've got all these other little shiny doodads and baubles and such. There's really nothing else to do but take down this tower now. Alright, we're going in. Oh, that sucks. Is that... There are too many characters in this game. Time we took... Oh, it's time we took the battle to Kepka's doorstep. What's wrong, guy? gods of the Warring Triad control the magic of the Esper world. If we destroy them... You're worried what about what might happen? Whoop, whoop, whoop. I can't say for sure, but... Blah, 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 blah. Ow. Hey, Dusk. Thank you for that resub. Does well Iris revisit the crazy old man yet? Oh, thank you, Reed. I forgot I needed to do that. I'm gonna go do that in a second. Espers. Even magic itself could vanish from this world. And if that happens, what'll happen to Zerby? Let's not think about that. Let's let's just glance over that fact, shall we? Uh, so yeah, you, you have the ability to make what is it? Three parties before, meaning not every character gets to come with on this epic journey. So we're gonna split this up into uh, what I feel should be the, uh, I don't know, the parties that make sense to me. I want to see how this works, so I'm gonna put these two in a party together just because I'm curious. Just what insanity is produced by having those two together. Uh, and I'll take you two with because I never really got to use you that much. There, these are our parties. I'm sorry, Setzer, you stay on the airship with the. Yeah. 
Wee. 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 Oof. That was a graceful landing. The warning triad awaits. Or it doesn't, because I'm going to go back to the airship. Leave? Yes. Because we have one thing that we need to do left. Thanks to Reed for reminding me. Thank you, Reed. Take the wheel. We have a crazy old man to go visit. Like all the way up here. Question is, who's in this party right now? Yep, there he is. Just sets her. I'll send you my PayPal link later. Ah, all right, dude, I got you. All right, I'm gonna talk to Zervi really quick. Hello, Zervi. Good to see you. That was rude. Taking in the party that makes the most sense to me. So these four strapping young lads. They have the uh, the father who lost his family and the two boys that lost their parents. Plus Edgar. Just makes sense to me. Kevin. Oh, hello again. It's been a while. Let me tell you, those repairs of yours were top notch. I told you, I'm not. Now, hurry up and fix that chair over there. You're going to need to stand on it so you can fix the roof. Hey, Adria. You don't suppose. You couldn't that man be your father? Wow. Come on, you. Don't you think? Father? Yeah. That guy's gotta be your dad. You? Dad? Whoa! You! Alright, let's go tell him. He needs to know you're his son. Wait a minute. This is a once in a lifetime event. We should at least dress you up a bit. Let's go to Jador and get you spiffed up. Everyone's together. Except for the two characters that are technically optional. Or three, I should say. No, new. How many times do I have to tell you not to eat with your fingers? Wow. Don't say ooh wow when you mean sorry. Yow. He's trying his best to teach him. How do you like these? Wouldn't they look good on him? Oh, but those other ones suited him so well, too. Uh, everything you liked, boy wouldn't even be able to move. What was that? N nothing. Didn't say a thing. Whew, that was close. What to do, what to do. Oh, this is nice. But we need something that would look good on you. Hmm. Oh, pick something already. What did you say? Nothing. Oh, Cinder. Now this is a fine and jaunty little hat. Maybe if you were a clown. I beg your pardon? If he wore a crown? Ha! Huh. He would not want his father to think he was some kind of prince now, would we? I know just the thing. That's a Kenpogi. It's perfect! Functional yet sporty. That's a... Not exactly what I had in mind. <sighs> now it's a fashion sense between you. Excuse me, I like to order a set of clothes like the ones I'm wearing. Three of heart, no, we're trying to make him look better, not worse. Actually, looks pretty good. I've got it. A tuxedo, a silk hat, and a rose between his teeth. Talk about overdoing it. Sheesh. I guess we'll have to go with a bandana on his head after all. <laughs> now he looks like Locke. A bandana? I thought we were trying to make him look presentable. Guess we should just all know better than to expect any sort of class out of Drenel. What was that? Say it again, I dare you. Hey, Drenel. Oh, no. <laughs> beating each other up. <laughs> oh, that was good. Listen, you. You're gonna go in there now and show your father what a fine young man you've become. Yow. And I think but some, before, like, some comedic relief before the final battle. Excuse me, sir. 
What in blazes are you? Oh, the repairman? Sir, you had a son once, didn't you? You remember, right? A uh, son? Yes, you see, sir, he's alive. You, speak up. Father. Huh? What? It's all this business about a son. I don't have a son. But now that you mention it, I once had a terrible dream. A dream in which some kind of demon child was born. I grabbed the thing and rushed off to the veldt with it. The thing was crying like crazy by the time I got there. But, sir. I left the child there, and then I turned around and ran, trying not to look back. I'm trying to tell you. And all of a sudden, the crying stopped. I turned around, and there was some frightful monster. Never seen anything like it. Hideous it was. Still gives me the shakes when I think about it. I give up. This guy's hopeless. But you, young man, your parents must be proud to have such a fine son. I still dream about being chased by that demon child. Terrifying, those dreams. Why, you old... Running your mouth, not even so much as thinking about news feelings. You want me to beat some sense back into you? Wow. Oh. Oh. Gut punch. Hey. Sorry. Father. Alive. You. Ha. Me. Oh. I kick his ass. No, sadly we can't. He's, he's an aged old man that doesn't know anything. It's time. Go to Kafka's out tower. Why did I have to have that Yoda at me? Out. There goes another one. Why? Hi, Lena. Alright, let's make these parties again. I forgot who was in what party, so I'm just gonna throw them together now. Into whatever, I, but, but, into whatever party I want. Oh, I forgot, yeah, you're a physical attacker. So yeah, you know what? This, this party works. And then uh, I want to put at least one physical character in each group. Ow. You no, you stink. Thank you. Oh. Pain. Pain of it all. Mercy. Over here. Ah. Everyone but Umaro and Satsu are going. Oh, yeah. That I remember. Alright guys, it's time for the final battle. We're gonna go climb up this tower by going down the tower. Oh. Now we get to enjoy... You never really get to hear this music that often. What weapon are you gonna get yourself? No. Uh, no. Alright, it's time to equip the Enhancer. Uh, take off the Genji shield. I feel like you can do better than that. This you can keep on. Yeah, that works, actually. I still love this song. What? Take these off, young man. Equip your shield. could just give him this and then we could just run through this part with this group. Yeah, why not? I think that'd be funny. This group gets the easiest job of just running through everything, no problem. Actually, no, that's bad. No, no, that's no, fine. It's fine, it's fine. How many more Genji gloves do I have left? Where are the Genji gloves at? Oh no, Setzer has one of them! Setzer, 
I like that you can do this, though, in this version. That you can actually scroll through everyone's inventory. That's right, I need you to remove all of that. I'm sorry. It's a very nice touch. I'm taking that Genji Glove. Where's the other Genji Glove, then? Where's the other one? You? Take that off. I don't need that. Mind me while I'm just looking at stuff and equipping junk. Ah. Ah. I'm just gonna start screaming when I hear things getting thrown at me now. Take, take this over the. Uh, I want you to keep the wing edge. It's just, it's just funny for you to have that. You can have the ultimate weapon. I almost forgot. You need instead of that. Yeah, you need the master scroll there. There's so many relics to equip. So many. Okay. There. We're ready to move out. And basically everyone can stay in the back row, except for these two. Dum -dum. Oh, wait, treasure! Back to the treasure! I need to open it. Treasure box. A hypno crown. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, that's a. It goes here. Doesn't it? Unless I'm thinking of the wrong person that can equip it. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Sure. I forgot this group has it easy and they can just run through everything because I'd lowered their encounter rate to absolutely nothing. Man, this place is a joke. Look at this. Fixed dice. Oh, look at that. We got more dice for Setzer. A trio of dice that deal more damage the higher the number they roll. Oh. Man. They could have made Setzer into just the ultimate dice throwing king. Own stick. And that's where this group ends. Moving on to the next group. This group has sprint shoes. Hey, no problem. Look, more dragons! Now, sigh, fine. Where is... You. 
There. Ultimate weapon with the Valiant Knife. Now you can just go crazy. Go crazy! Pop off! Do what you do your thing. Pinwheel. I love getting things in this late in the game and I'm just like, what is that? Okay. Something I can throw. That's pointy. For that late saber. Wait. Yep. Master scroll with a Genji glove is pretty nuts. Hey three! Ah yes. The toilet. Well, that's not very nice. Blech. Blech. I'm doing good. There he goes. Oh, except he's injured, so that uh, the ultimate weapon is going to do less because he's hurt. His heart is not confirmed. Yeah, that's right. We just run through the door. I'll use eye for an eye and just kill someone off instantly. Yeah, we're doing good. We're just climbing up Kefka's tower now. So we can kick his clowny ass. You know, typical stuff. Hello. Where are you? Ah, uh, the Ultima Buster, aka the tough version of Ultima. I'm the one known as Ultima, forged an eternity ago. I was placed here. And then forgotten in the mists of time. Long have I pondered what I should do. Long, long have I pondered. Now it seems I have an answer. Pop off. There we go. Problem solved. Yep, we're gonna punt Kepka from the top. Just. Hey, Karma, you learned something. Nice. And we made a save point out of him. Nice. And yeah, behold the ultimate power of luck. Mood said. A lot of the weapons that Locke gets are pretty, pretty great, which is why he's like one of the best characters to use the Master Scroll Genji glove combo. That or I just love him the most out of everybody, which is why I always have him do this. I just love seeing all the nines. I'm not gonna lie, I love seeing all the nines when I'm in combat with health. Feels good, man. No! I went the wrong way. Oh, my bad. Wait, that means the other one's gonna cast rays. Well, if he got a turn. What's nice about this place is that you can go back, so if you ever feel like it's too it's too tough for you or you're in over your head, you can just leave and come back. That's one of the things that I loved about the final area in this. Is that it's very, very kind to its players. You don't have to worry about getting stuck here and then having a point of no return where you can't go back in case you're just a little unprepared. And it's very easy to get very powerful in this. Huh. The no, one other reason why it's worth, like, if you want to do a full 100% that you've gotten all of uh, everyone's skills and everything, but it also makes it feel a little weird, is that you'd come here, leave, go to the Velt, and grab a bunch of rages or Gao, but at the same time, if you're able to get through this part pretty easily, and if you're able to handle the, the Brachiosaurs, oh no, the Force Shield, if you're able to handle the Brachiosaurs at the end of the game, uh, not the end of the game, but in the Dinosaur Forest, 
And Kefka and everything else that this game provides in the base game should, shouldn't be a problem. I'd say that the things that they add in like the Game Boy Advance version, like the Dragon's Den, it might be a little too challenging still. Even with max stats, it can be a pain in the ass. Some of the enemies in there can really, really mess you up if you're not ready or don't know what you're doing. I'm thinking about the uh, Atma weapon. Or not Atma weapon, uh, what is it? The Kaiser Dragon. That thing actually screwed me up. And then the other boss that came after that. For anyone that remembers, the Kaiser Dragon was uh, originally just a thing that people saw and they're like, oh, well, this is just a thing that was an unused asset. So then they updated the sprite and made it into its own boss you know, when they added the uh, that Dragon's Den, the Game Boy Advance version, which is pretty nice. Ah, yes, I remember the Gold Dragon because we memed that how could it fly around like that if it has no actual wings, so it just helicopters around with its neck. Goodbye, Gold Dragon. Crystal Orb. One dragon remaining. Powerful magic orb that holds a mysterious power. Boosts maximum MP by 50%. Yep. <laughs> so you learned paleontology from One Piece as well. Yeah. Where else does somebody learn that? But... Another thing is, if you get to the dragons up to this point and you've been able to kill them so far, then this is another thing that's like, well, then the game shouldn't be a problem. And this group's path is technically done now. They don't have anything to do, so they can stop. Hello, guy, just finished last VOD finally. Damn, were people giving some big monk eyes to how good the Kef guy I made was? Also, the cheese. The cheese, Pertree Guardian. Dog, I'm glad you enjoyed it, Ryan. Dude, that Kafka is so good. It's criminal. You made him too good. Bang. Shot him with a gun. Oh. Still- I'm alive. I right, got a red cap. Now I can relax. Yes, kick back, relax, and hang out while we just do some, uh, destruction of Kefka. Kefka destruction! Yay! A nutkin suit. A gauntlet. Man. In no sense. Oh, a crossbow. Did you just aura cannon Jom Joms and kill him? Sure did. Kind of messed up, bro. What up? Some of the ways that the party members can kill each other. This is the one true threat, though, of having your characters this maxed out. Is yes, they can easily kill each other when they're confused. Now, the party is the greatest threat to itself. Now. Kafka's tower here. Some more chests. A hero's ring. It's nice that they want to make sure that you're at least prepared by giving you some really powerful accessories. Sounds like my last D&D session. I feel like that's everyone's D&D session at some point. This, I think, just goes back. So it's really, if you want to go back the way you came, then you can take that, but we don't need to. We're here to just do one thing, and that's beat the shit out of a clown. And whatever this thing is. I, I guess. I mean, this is more just collateral damage at this point. Aw oh, yeah, full nines, baby. The power of grinding has paid off. Oh no! Oh no, it's the boss from that one fight, again! Uh, 
plot twist kept guys level 3 confused. And we're doomed then. S straight up. No hope. I won't just spam magic because that would make it a little too easy. Ah, yes. Self destruct. That seems worth it. This is the final boss of Abania, and now it's the final boss of Agania. It's so weird how slowly I have to do that. I like how the lore still costs a lot. Oh, wait, no, it's because I don't have a Celestriad on him. Poor guy. So it'd all be cheap if I had a Celestriad for him. We fought some copies of us. Two of our party members are blaster casters. Getting fireball three times around sucks. Oh, jeez. That sounds painful. Oof. Just... Mega Elixir. Nice. Oh, they're all dead. Rainbow brush. Got a landworm. Oh, another dragon. Hello, dragon. That is definitely some kind of dragon. Gogo with the hat. Or at least the remains of one. Yep. There you go. I will miss you. There, dragon. Oh, muscle belt. All eight dragons have been defeated. The eightfold seal is broken. Crusader Magicite. There we go, we've got the final Magicite that we could get. The Crusader Magicite. The reason why this annoys me is because by this point, even getting this Magicite, just because of how bonkers it is, it's not very useful. And at this point, if you're able to defeat everything, you've gotten to a point that's so late in the game that again, like, it requires you to leave if you're gonna actually utilize it in any way. That's my problem with like some of the, the scaling of this is that it can get a little wonky It's like if, if you're giving me stuff like this this late, I'm pretty much done with the game already I don't have a reason to use it anymore Crusader is a very awkward magic site. It is a lot of the late game stuff is and that's one of my uh, oh, I'll go over it when I get to my final thoughts Just click the button Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Middle group, come back. We need you. Yum. They're the fastest group 
that ever lived. Oh, did you guys see what the, uh, in the Discord I said for the partnerversary, and even for the stream before that, we have something special that I have planned for it. Did you see what I have? It was like Drain take forever to learn despite not being very strong or having Esper's that completely obsolete other, others for learning magic. Yeah! That was another thing that just kind of, I don't know, it makes me scratch my head when I see that, right? Like, you have Ifrit, it's the only source of gaining Drain. I love the game, but it raises an eyebrow. Yeah, there's just things that, like, trivialize some magic over others. And I'll go over that again when we get closer to the end. Or even after the end, so that way I can just go over my final thoughts. Oh, hello there. What's in here? Pinwheel again. Nice. I sure do love pinwheels. Whee! It's locked. You're locked. Kiva, no. Zoom. Look out! It's your Jimbo. Yo, Jim. Yo, Jim. No. I want to throw things while waiting in queue. Perfect. Me. Click the button. Click the button. Get in there. Click the button. Not click the button yet. Wait a minute. Ow! I just like her pose there, looking all triumphant. Imagine if he was under that. T pose for Terra. Can I change their poses? Oh snap, you can! They're head banging. Alright. Have I been around for a year? Yeah, you guys have been around for um, a lot of you now. I've been around for over a year now. And it's, we're hitting that partner anniversary stream. It just proves that. Isn't it crazy? It doesn't even feel like it's been that long, right? A year of watching and me play video game and digesting content from a hamster. Doesn't exactly. Oh no, I should have checked the other poses. No. Alright, down the center you go. Oh, hello again. Old friend. No one's hurt. Let's go. Time for the rematch. Remember when Guardian was too strong that it kept killing us? It's time for revenge.
The other reason why I like maxing out stats is because it lets me just do ridiculous things that don't make sense. Loading battle program, activating Ultros battle program. Not the tentacle, no! Oh yeah, Air Anchor can't work on this because Air Anchor would instantly kill it if it did any actions, so that doesn't make sense. He has poison the machine. It works! Oh no! Yay, we win. Goodbye! Goodbye, Guardian! Hello. Demon, aka, you guys know who this is. Even the music, listen to the music. You, you guys know who this is. Come on. I shall rise above all. Oh, this sounds nice. Yeah, say the quotes. Ah yes, I can use Meltdown. Killing everyone. How much health do you have? Okay, you still have a decent amount. Vulnerable to poison, you say? Where is it? There you are. Oh, what? I missed? What is this? What? What a bullshit is this? How did I miss? Oh, I just Flare Star! Soul Spiral, go. I just noticed this party has a lot of people that are willing to just sacrifice themselves. That meteor animation is sick, isn't it? Dude, that's why I'm just like messing with all the magic that I can't. Look at his spread, it's so huge that it's actually sinking. Holy moly. We got a Radiant Lance. Exactly, Reed. Yes. Where the heck do these people go? back out. All the way out. We gotta return. You turn. The person in the middle need to press the middle button on the balcony. I think so, and I forgot to do that. Now we're out here. Well, that's fine. We just walk our way out again. Jesse made the exact same mistake. Well, 
Uh-oh. Oh. Huh. You killed that man. Oh yeah, funny thing about bad breath in this, if you can resist one ailment, it just stops the entire attack from working for some reason. Never understood why, but... Eh. Oh. Look, I just work here, man. We learned bad breath. Nice. Bad breath. So potent it can be used as an attack. A lot of people would actually believe that anyway, so you know what? We'll, we'll roll with it. Dang. Brain Blast. Jimmy Neutron. Did Final Fantasy VI create Jimmy Neutron? Boy Genius? Okay, there we go. The doors popped up. I hate that I forgot that. But you know what? It happens. You know, people forget to install doors into things all the time. We're all human after all. Jimmy Neutron. Oh no, you're right! Hello, it's another fiend. Uh, here, take this Radiant Lance because it seems really good. Oh yeah? And uh, let's get down to business to defeat Sephiroth? Yep, there he is, it's Sephiroth. Very malevolent. I must say. Let's, uh, well, if I dance, then we're stuck in that. So, you know what? Let's let's dance. What kind of dance do I want to do for you? A water harmony dance. A new cat scratch. Oh, he fell over. Can I sketch you? Hello. Hi, lab rat. I want to pet the moogle. Here, pet the moogle. I want to pet the moogle. Oh, I didn't do that much. I was expecting it to do more. I'm gonna show off more of the uh, animations for these, so let's use these two. Try it again. Attack! Show them the power of your holy brush, Diva. Means or is trembling violently. Yeah, we've changed the arena. Is there a way to change Gauss thing once you lock it in? I don't think so. Once he's locked in, he's locked in for for a good. Oh, oh no, the froze. Wait, this attack. Okay, so now I'm on a party with two people that just attack on their own and I don't get to do anything. Alright. Ooh. That looked cool. Now I'm immune to Earth. Well, that's nice for you, man. Proud of you. This actually looks even more epic now that it's underwater. Also, hi, Labrad. How are you? Thank you for that resub. Enjoy the Zyro Simults. Thank you so much for your generosity to the channel. We got a new katana. Oh, look at these battle poses. We'll come back to that group. You get a bird mount now, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. You think we'll have underwater battles in 14? Never. Never, ever. No. Sometimes parries enemy attacks. Yes. Okay. But yes, we can get a bird no mount now. As soon as we get Blitzball. Yo, I would actually be okay with Blitzball, though. Alright, it's time for another Baosh battle. Baosh time. The Baosh. Actually, hold on. Steal from it. Ah. That was nice. Couldn't steal. Are you kidding me? Okay, look, we're this late in the game, still couldn't steal. L let's try Tempest, you know? I, I just want to try different things to see what they do this late in the game now. Let's throw over the pinwheel. 
Go pinwheel. How dare you. Dang. Look at him go. You go, Karma. Dang. Uh, flame scroll, go. Couldn't steal. All right, you know what, Drenel? Flips. Oh. You had less health than the Fiend. Oh, no, that's not true. Karma just absolutely obliterated it. Goodbye, Sophia. Huh. Okay. My bad. We destroyed the Warring Triad, but the power of magic isn't fading like it should be. Could Kepka have extracted the very source of magic from them? Only well, one way to find out. The legendary Holy Sword, Excalibabble. Now ours to wield. Our Drenel. Rose, no, they're just giving back his valiant knife. If anyone's getting Excalibibble. I would, I would go to... You, you can have Excalibabble. Kepka's ass the power of Yeti strength. There. Ah. Yeah, crossbow. Crossbow. Do -do 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 -do. Carnival. Time to take a nap. Uh, very peaceful and relaxing. I tried testing this before and I want to see if it works now. It does not. Okay, never mind. Right to the last group. <laughs> we fit all the buttons. Light. Light! Hello, Clownman. Welcome, friends. I knew you'd come, so I've been practicing my greeting. How much do you have to destroy before you'll have... Uh, you'll have had your fill, Kepka. I've acquired the ultimate power. Observe. Such magnificent power! You're nothing more than fleas compared to me now! Embrace your destruction! It is the fate of all things! To be destroyed? Maybe it is, but people can always rebuild and new lives will always be born! And time will destroy all those as well. Why do people insist on creating things that will inevitably be destroyed? Why do people cling to life, knowing that they must someday die? Knowing that none of it will have meant anything once they do. Because it's not the end that matters. It's knowing you have something to live for right now at this moment. Something you've worked for. Something that's worth protecting. Yeet. As long as you have that, that's enough. And did you all find your some things in this broken world that's dying itself? Yas, bitch. 
Yuck. Dang, Terra. Love. A person worth protecting. A wife and child who live on within me. Friends. And family. A peaceful kingdom. A loving brother who always looks out for me. <laughs> Someone willing to accept me for who I am. An adorable little granddaughter. An obnoxious, an obnoxious grandpa who I couldn't live without. New pals. Coupon. These people. All them. Wow. Where's Umaro? And Setzer. Oh, they don't get to talk because they're not here right now. Blech. You people make me sick. You sound like lines from a self-help book. If that's how it's going to be, I'll snuff them all out. Every last one of your sickening, happy little reasons for living. No, Kafka, stop. Oh no. I wield the greatest power in existence! You may as well be the dirt on the bottom of my boots! Or the dirt stuck to the bottom of that dirt! I'll destroy everything! I'll create my own empire! Of death. You can't destroy everything. People will always have dreams. No. When I'm through, there won't be anything left to dream about. We won't let you hurt any more people. <laughs> but what fun is destruction if no precious lives are lost? It ends here, Kepka. Alright, time to make our final party. Too bad we didn't have sets here. Alright. So the reason why it's formed like this, you get your first four party members. And as people get knocked out, they get re rotated out with the people in this party. If the entire party is defeated, then the game is over. It's not gonna happen here. This is just a, a matter of who do I want to bring with to just go absolutely apeshit and beat the living shit out of this clown. I, I, I kind of already know who I'm going to take with me to destroy a stinky clown. You know. I want to bring the power of a, a magic brush. Because it's just ridiculous that I did this. I, you know, I'm, I'm happy here. It'll work. Wait, no, hold on. I, I should at least fill the other slots. Jeez. You know, don't presume that I'm just going to win because he does have attacks that can just instantly blow you up. Alright. Final battle. Find this here statue of a god. Even with all those hits that we got, we only destroyed one part. Pretty crazy, isn't it? This sounds amazing. Turn this up a little bit. Is 
They really went all out with this. Can I steal from you? No. Can I sketch you? Oh, just straight up can't sketch, okay. Statue of the Gods. It's all just Kepkas. Just a bunch of Kepkas on a statue. Flap it. One of the Kafkas has bobs. It sure does. Yeah, there's some naked Kafkas there, though. There's like four Kafkas. Hey man, don't get rid of our haste buff, come on. It's not cool. Here it is. Another phase. And there's so many phases as the boss. Hey, Radiant! You made it just the best time. Uh... I can't believe I'm just going through Dante's Inferno right now. Why are you still casting? You're not casting anything right now. Everybody, those are the skull don't stand into the puddles. Yep. Now this is still look away or don't, because we're still at the tower phase. We're not we're not high enough yet for the god to descend upon us. Can I steal from you? Didn't steal. Come on, man. Just let me steal from the final boss. I don't know if that got dispelled or not, so that's why I'm casting. Oh! Okay. A quick look to see if it's a yellow question mark. We can't look at it, we're going to die! Wait, hold on. Hold on. His feet. We have to check the feet for Nyx. They're still grainy and crusty. Good, it's perfect. Life. 
dreams, hope. Where do they come from? And where do they go? Such meaningless things. I'll destroy them all. Oh, he's completely lost it. No, I mean, he, he lost it a long time ago, but now he's just... He's, he's completely lost it. We gotta put the clown down. Say goodbye, Kafka. This, this should maybe kill you. But where do they come from? Cotton Eye Joe! Oh no, I've been one cycled. Oh shit. Ah, oh, the horror. Ah, oh my god. <laughs> Say hello to the new god, Drunnel. The ultimate treasure hunter. Skip forsaken one. <laughs> My man just got unsynced. He sure did. He got clapped so hard. We're like five expansions above this this raid tier right now. He has no chance. The tower's collapsing. Oh hey, uh, Setzer and Umaro made it. There's no time to lose. Come on, the airship's just up ahead. Come on, everybody. We can make it if we work together. Serby, what's wrong? <gasps> Magicite. M more Magicite. Oh, there they go. The Magicite. Magic is disappearing. Vespers are fading from the world. What'll happen to Serby? Come with me. I can use the last of my power to guide you out. Yas. And here we are again, everybody. Credit sequence. Also, me dropping my controller. Oh no, literature! I'll just enjoy the ending. Now Kipka has been bitch slapped in the lands between yes. Karma as Bien Garamond. Ow. <laughs> Karma, could you hit that switch? I um mechanical devices are not my strong point. <laughs> I do believe I am getting better, though. I just gotta spend more time with uh, Rufia to understand machines better. That's all. Free of heart. As. Yes, Kraken. Setzer Gabianni. Boopity boppy. Sorry. Tower's crazy. Coin toss. Wait. Whenever you think you're right, you're wrong. And that's a big mistake. That was what you always used to say, wasn't it, Daryl? Rufia as Yay, Edgar Roni Figaro and Cinder as a broom. Sabin Rene Figaro. Clap. It's not like I wanted to dump all that responsibility on you. I knew you'd look out for the kingdom. I wanted to be able to look out for you. 
That's why I went off to become stronger. You just yeet it. Okay, Cinder. And he's giving us the finger. Those are the characters that no matter what you end up getting. Moogle. The Moogle. I love this the whole ending credits scene. And being able to change their names. Help me! Kubo! The fur! Watch the fur! I'm not a stuffed animal! Kubo! Rye as... Oh no! Umaro! It won't open! Yeah, like, none of these other characters have to appear during this, so they would just skip. That's one way to get through. I sort of just skipped all these cutscenes with Umaro in them if you just went in with, like... You, you can technically go in with just, like, a small section of your party. After you get the airship, it's possible. Because then you just need to split into three parties. Julia's go-go. Both buttons have to be pressed at the same time in exactly the same way. Julie! Mimic Gaia! That mimicry though. Oh! Go, go! New. As. Go. Shortcut. Take shortcut. That's definitely one way down. Shortcut. Take shortcut. Run away! Hello, Cord Marley. Welcome. You made it just in time for the end of Final Fantasy VI. Adrenal is locked, Cole. What's this? What's this? Walter, guys, thank you for that follow. Hello! And Celeste share. That's Gaia. It, yep, the very, very end. But don't worry, we're gonna be doing something else after this anyway. Hello, and thank you for that raid. Hello, everybody. Come on, this place is breaking apart. Drennel! I won't let go. I promise. It won't be like the Titanic, I swear. Are you crazy? You almost got yourself killed for that? Did you enjoy Six? Oh yeah, I, I love Six so much. I absolutely love this game. And Zervi as... Tara Branford. Father? Survey. We must part now. 
the espers will disappear from this world. You may fa- Oh, okay. But perhaps since the human part of you feels something strong enough, then maybe, just maybe, you'll be able to remain here as a human. Don't mind some dialogue being missed. Fine. It's fine. It's not because I'm trying to hold back tears. Eva is Realm Arani. How long did six take to beat? It takes about 20 to 30 hours, but I decided to grind every character to level 99, so it took me about 50-something. <laughs> A little bit longer than it needs to. Grandpa, you can't give up yet. Sorry, dear. Any more whining out of you and I'll paint your picture. Oh no, <laughs> anything but that. But, you know, someday I really would like to paint your portrait. On canvas, I mean. Oh, Kiva. Look what you've done. You've made me go out. Oh, man, it's gone. Uh, it's a lot of grinding, but it was worth it. Because I absolutely love this game. It's not needed at all. Trust me. But it's just fun to do. Jer Bear as Shadow. Mishti. Hey, he was saying that he was getting all weepy eye. That's all. Go on, Interceptor. Get going. Take care of yourself, boy. Aram, it looks like I can finally stop running. Come and find me, all right? Aww. Jom jom as... An old man. Old man. Drago Magus. Of course, they put their credits all next to each other. Why? Because Shadow and Realm might be related. Or, well, we know they are. Come on, Jom Jom. You can't let yourself be shown up by a bunch of kids. Go get it. Gotcha. And us. Everybody in the audience. Wasn't that fun? Follow me. I'm gonna fly everybody out of here. The last piece of magicite. Servi, you've done enough. Your power's getting weaker. Serbians are going to be able to hold out much longer. <laughs> no, Crusader, we barely knew you. Yeah, we just got you and you're gone already. Dang. That is truly sad. Baby! Don't give up hope, Katarin. I won't either. Not yet. Not yet? Zervi?
Turvy! There she is. The music is very emotional. It is. It's very touching. Thank you, Three of Heart. I told you, didn't I? She's the fastest ship in the world. Yay, cutscene. Or credits. Oh, man. This is my favorite RPG of all time. And I still absolutely love playing this game. It's just one that I can pick up and play whenever and just be like, yeah, I want to play Final Fantasy VI. And I'm so happy that it got remade again. Give it a try. I will admit, from a... From a standpoint of, like, game difficulty and even mechanics, there's a lot of things you can overlook and ignore that you just never have to actually use. Uh, for example, one of the characters gets abilities from enemies where he basically takes on the AI of that enemy. Yeah, well, a lot of those AIs don't really do much and it amounts to absolutely nothing being done. And I mean, there's a lot of them. And there's just a lot of things like that in this game, which, while it's nice that there's so much to do and so much customization, it goes down to that one law of, um... How if gamers have a way that they know they can make a game easier or a preferred way to play, they're gonna stick to that. Yes, you can play any Final Fantasy without any previous knowledge. The only thing that transfers over is maybe, like, names of places, or the names of, like, certain spells and things, but otherwise, you can play them whenever you want. There's, like, a lot of things in this game, if you want to get 100% completion, that it's very easy to overlook and miss. And there's a lot of, like, little things and differences in the dialogue, depending on who you have in your party, which I thought was neat. It invites a lot of complacency and strategy, which isn't bad, but it exists. Yep. But there's a lot to the to being able to strategize and customize the party however you want and people are probably going to prefer sticking with like the same characters but because of i think even the game developers knew like how difficult and strangely technical some of the characters could be which is why through most of the game you stick with edgar and sabin for a lot of the game and then you get a character that's like Terra, who can cast magic, just in case you need help with casting magic. And then, I mean, you just have Setzer. Setzer kind of just shows up for a little bit. But Edgar and Sabin are very powerful characters because they were designed to be that way. And I think that it's done on purpose because you do spend a lot of time with them in your party. So they want to make sure that at any point people feel comfortable using them as characters. All of the characters are strong if you know what you're doing. And you build them in however way you want, really. Are some of them better than others and more exploitable? Uh, slightly. I wouldn't say it's like a huge margin to a point where it's like completely useless. Like, even the worst characters in this still feel strong because of the way that the, the game and its mechanics work. Like, everyone can use magic just as strong as anyone else. There's no one who's the best at magic if you leave magic alone. There's even like a certain point where even if you're grinding, like if you want to get to like at least level 50 on every character, by the time you finish doing everything before you get up to Kefka, everyone's going to be around like level 30-ish, maybe 40. And if you want to grind up to like 50 or 60, which is typically normal, going above that takes a lot of time and grinding. But 50 to 60 is kind of normal. And then by that point, you can pretty much raise your magic stats or your strength stats to a point where you can still just almost one shot everything your health just won't be maxed out lore wise with magic gone from the world that would mean Terra can't use magic anymore but Celeste still logically could since she was genetically enhanced to use a, a form of magic or would her abilities be gone too magic wise it implies that all magic is gone so anything that they gained from infusions is also gone this is a natural world now I love that they redid the opera scene completely for the pixel remaster it shows that they actually care for the original material and all it's a shame that the Pixel Remasters are only PC and mobile. I think eventually they'll come to Switch. You know? Sudden Fusions come from Espers too. Yeah, exactly, Sirix says. 
it is nice that they redid the opera scene and then the way that they updated the music the, the graphics i mean it's a pixel remaster so everything needs to look nicer i didn't think that they could make anything look nicer but they found a way they made the backgrounds for the combat scenes nicer they made this uh the townscapes look nicer they made the characters touched up a little bit things like this with the airship and then flying around this looks nicer uh, the opera scene looks beautiful. A lot of the areas still look the same, but also nicer. Because they did refine it and polish it. And it shows that they did a lot. That there was a lot of care in this. There's some of the things like... And they left the game basically the same. They removed some of the bugs that were very easy to exploit. But then there are a bunch of bugs that got added in. And I'm going to show you a few of them before we finish. It was nice chilling here, but I gotta do a head out. Hope I can catch you on the stream. Yeah, Walter, I'll catch you later, and thank you again for that follow. Baby is born. Baby! Yeah, baby! Now, quick, throw the baby into the sky. And then catch it. We got the classic Final Fantasy music playing. XFF will be what, 12? No, no, no. No. You have to wait for the part anniversary for me to go over what I'm playing next in terms of RPGs and such. So give it a give it a few days for the part anniversary, guys, and you'll hear all about the RPGs I have planned. I also love this a lot about the game, where the characters don't actually say anything, but they, the way they emote they have so many different emotions and ways that they make the characters in this move around. Like from the bouncing sprites when something gets shocked or someone wants to jump or something. It's so nice. Like, look at this. Yeah, let your hair fly. This is the first time that she's felt something. Well, more than just what she was feeling when she was finally, you know, able to protect those kids. But now she knows that the world's in a better place. She's not ready to fight media. <laughs> All these birds, man. Look at those birds. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 Baby bird. That music is so beautiful. The fans across the globe, both past and present, and of the crew who brought the originals to life, we offer our profound and heartfelt thanks. The end. And. You're not gonna have the the long credits. This is the end this time. The other ones all had that long sprawled credits. What? I don't get the long credits. No. I guess not. Save completed game data. Data saves progress up to the final boss. Yeah, sure. Here. 
little star. Turn title screen, yes. What happens if I load that now? Oh, it needs a second. There we go. Okay. Now what? What would you have me do, game? Oh. There. We've already gone through that. We don't need to go through it again. Let's see how many enemies I missed. I know there was a few at the beginning. Okay. We missed 45 enemies. Jeez. Oh, hey, Kafka. What's up? Oop. There he is. Game won't tell me what his health is because I didn't scan him. Or any of them. In fact, I. That's rude. Wait, no. It shows me their health, though. I only scanned one of them. Attack 13. <laughs> nice attack, dum dum. Attack 60. Dealable items. A safety bit. Dropped items. See, yeah, I already got that. I like his final boss stats. Yeah, they gotta hide it. Horse armor and a ribbon. Nothing. Flame shield. Flame shield. Nice shield. Next potion in a holy lance. Or stealable. Gives you a muscle belt. Magus rod. Of course. Yeah. What enemies did I miss? Something here. Okay. A few things here, which is probably all stuff in the Kefka's tower. Oh, I missed some of the things in the magic tower because we just breezed through it. It's fun when you never played FF6, but you recognize these enemies anyhow. Yeah, because of FF14. It's nice that they bring them back, right? It's in the. Hold on. Let's not check the. Blah. The music player. I want to check the gallery. What's in the gallery? What you got for me? Oh. Title splash. Yeah. I remember this. Classic art. The opera house. Not what I remember the opera house looking like. Magitek. Kepka's Tower. Spirit and Steel. I love the official art. You have magic. Terra riding Magitek Armor B. Desert Castle. The Ensemble. See, we can see here. I can see Edgar, Setzer, Cyan, Locke in the front, Celeste. Then that's Gao, and then Strago on the bottom left. Shadow and Interceptor, Sabin, Terra, Realm. I do not see Umaro <laughs> or Mog. But uh, there's Mog, all the way at the top. I don't see Umaro though. Yep. Yeah, Mog is right above Setzer's hand. Terra. Terra. More Terra. Hey, Terra. Kill it, girl. All this Terra art. Excuse me, what was that? What is that head? Mini Terra. Mini Terra. Oh. Terra unused. Definitely unused. I've never seen her in that style of clothing before. Oh. Now this is an, a piece of art that I remember because this one uh, was in the PlayStation manual for Locke. And this one. Uh, that's a very popular piece of art for Locke. Sorry, I'm just going through the art now because it's just kind of fun to watch, like look through. This is a lot of this stuff I haven't seen before. 
Well, you know what monster that hides under the bed and watches you sleep? Well, that's what that head was. Uh -oh. No! Dang, that's some nice art of Edgar. I like his face there. Mug. Dang, is that Sabin with the little beard? Now it's gone. There it is, the beard's back! Beard's gone. I like the minis a lot. A shadow. Shadow and interceptor. Another shadow, yeah. More shadows. Shadow. That's a big interceptor. There's go. Dang. Beast child. Yeah, my overall thoughts on this game, I mean, it still is my favorite RPG of all time. And that's mostly because of how accessible it can be. And just how wonderful the story is. Because it's not completely happy, you know. Very bad things happen in it, but it's also... It's like bittersweet, the way that the story goes. But it is also nice to see how things end up panning out. Because in the end, yes, the heroes win. And now, the world is full of hope. Things are looking up. And for a game back then, like, seeing the way that the characters interact, you still get interact- like, the level of interactivity that the characters have in this still rivals some of the games that we get today for RPGs. And the way that characters now still act with each other. Like, I would say, like, even compared to some of the Tales games and how many skits they have for their characters, like, a lot of those skits are skippable, or, like, things that you only get in, like, little messages here and there. But then they have, all these characters have, like, all these fleshed backgrounds with each other and personal backstories. And the reason why they have that is because uh, during the de development period, they had each... Well, they had specific people design at least up to two characters. At least two. So this art of Kefka. And after everyone's story was finished, they were all compiled together and they're like, Alright, now how do we make all this work together? And ideas were dropped, ideas were rehashed, and things were changed. Just so that way they could all fix together, or like, fit together better. That unused Kefka. There's always something with FF games in their story. It's not always happy, adventure time. They actually talk about themes that are still relevant now in 2022. Well, that's the nice thing about some RPGs is when they get very realistic, you know, and sad. Like Leo, for example, who's scratching his nose there. You know, his sacrifice. And even letting th that alternate part where you can actually not rescue Sid. And you get that little bit of extra story. I wish they added, like, a little cutscene at the end where you can actually interact with Sid and be like, Oh, look, Sid, we're all back. There's Bannon. This would be Biggs and Wedge. Yeah. Ghost! Bowser? Yeah. Big man. Dalamud? No, Dadaluma. That's right. Dadaluma again. Oh, jeez, Dadaluma buff. Everyone's favorite mage boss and also that one experiment. The Nalapa. Something that attacks you after you're, you're leaving um, the floating continent. That's the Tentacles in Figaro Castle. The Menace is another enemy that attacks you when you're on the floating continent and sinking. The Dream Stooges. They're named after the uh, the Three Stooges. Yes, Laragorn. Only one of them gets a name. Death Gaze. That Death Gaze, though. I like how Ultros and Typhon... In this art, pretty much look the exact same. Goddess Crusader piece. The Fiend Crusader piece. Raiden. Imp. Imp B. Oh! The PlayStation art. 
Look at them. <laughs> his, little, his mustache. I always love his mustache. Wonder Swan art. Eh. Okay, Wonder Swan. I just remember this stuff because it was all over the PlayStation box too. Oh, that's the last piece of art. Get this one. Snap it. Beautiful. Little Yeti man. But thank you again, Square Enix, for the sponsor and for giving us the opportunity to play this again. I know. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I wanted to show off the bug. The bug. Going back in time. Yeah. We gotta show off the bug. This one is absolutely game breaking. It's like the biggest game break that Esco showed me. Like, there's, there's little tiny things that I can do to, like, goof off. Like, grabbing an Esper that isn't there and just doing this repeatedly until... Like, oh no, we lost Odin. That, that sucks. Look at that. I can just get Odin again, even though he's not there anymore. That's strange. Glad to see the Pixel Remaster is truly going back to the original's roots with, with bugs. Not in completely intentional, like these are bugs that are new to this. And they remove some of them. Alright, let's see. Yep. Still works. And I'm still here. Ah yes. Perfect. The world is saved now. I've done it! I've saved the world. Huzzah! Did they take all the good loot with them? Shit, they did. I know they're new, it's just funny given all the bugs on the SNES version, like my favorite sketch glitch. Yeah! Or the, uh... This glitch no longer exists, but the, the Cyan Rage glitch. Or Psycho Cyan, that's what it was called. You can no longer do it, but it was hilarious. I, I can explain the glitch a little bit. Yeah, so what happens is, um, there was a thing where... Psych uh, Psycho Cyan is where Cyan... Uh, he has an, an ability where he counterattacks. But I think it was if he's killed during it and then resurrected... And then put under another stipulation underneath that... He will then go completely crazy and just keep counterattacking until everything else on the screen is dead, except for his allies. Just slaps until everything else is dead. Also, high jump jumps. But yeah, th this bug is absolutely crazy. And I hope that people don't run into it on their own playthroughs, or you're pretty much SOL. There's, the only way back is the airship, which is in the top right where I can't go. It's, uh, not possible for me to travel there from where we are. But yeah. This music's back. That's nice. Okay, hey, game's over. Game's over! We'll, we'll swap games in a second. Final thoughts! Oh! Uh, Final Fantasy VI Pixel Remaster. Uh... It better than the original? Uh... You're talking like the Super Nintendo version, yes. Game died. Oh, I know. I killed the game. Punched it right in the face. Was it better than the original? Yes. It's better than the original. Is it better than the PlayStation version? Yes. Is it better than the Game Boy Advance version? Yes. I mean, better than every version that I've played. Like, even the Steam version. The one thing that I, I like about the Game Boy and Steam versions, and I can't believe I'm saying that about the Steam version because I really didn't like that one, I like the inclusion of that final endgame area after you've beaten Ow, after you've beaten Kefka. Where in the Dragon's Den. Where you can just fight like a gauntlet of all the enemies back to back. Just really showcase how powerful the characters can get. And sure, I mean the way that I did it, I just really broke it by grinding everybody to max. But I, I always do that because at that point it's like you've gone through everything that the game's thrown at you. And at that point, it's like, why not have some fun and break it now? Do the ultimate grind. 
You don't have to, ever. Like, I don't think it's ever that important. The grinding exists to help people if they need help. Like, even for me, uh, when I was much younger, I'd probably finish this game where everyone would be around, like, level 40 or 50. I still say that if you want the fullest version, you, Game Boy Advance PHP version is the best ones. If you want the best core gameplay experience, Pixel Remasters. Yeah. Like the Pixel Remasters are probably like the best definitive version. And I'll even say that they because they run the smoothest. They run the smoothest. They're quick. Uh the UI is much more user friendly. And I just everything about it is just fantastic. They did a fantastic job with these remasters. Does that mean they did everything perfectly? No. I ran into some bugs. I ran into a bug that constantly soft locked me and it made it so that way I didn't want to do the 100% like 100 100% completion because there's an enemy that if you kill it, they would spawn three ads, but sometimes you'd kill it and then nothing would happen. And that bug kept occurring repeatedly when I would be in the belt trying to get Gao's rages and it just got to a point where I was I was just like, "Okay, no, this is ridiculous. I can't do this anymore." I'm just starting to get frustrated with this at that point other things I got soft black light ultros on the airship for the floating continent oh no for the same reason like he disappeared and then it was just stuck there, there's just like a few little things that like cause soft locks some of the bugs are new to this which i think is actually kind of cool like finding them out esco tells me all about the bugs that he finds he knocks you behind him and you can't move oh Oh, I think someone told me about that. Yeah, that sucks. But for all the things that I love about Final Fantasy VI, I can give you like a quick list of things that I don't like about it. Um, so I mentioned this, but some of the magic, especially with how fast you grab everything at the end with the espers, some of the magic just feels trivial, like compared to when you can get stuff. Like, if you noticed, when I played, and I went around between each area, I didn't do any grinding at all uh, until I had gotten all the party members back. But I managed to get up to recapturing, uh, like, everyone in my party. So at that point, I have every Esper, almost. They have a few that I didn't get because I didn't go to those areas. But we have Ultima at that point, and we didn't even... I mean, we went to the Magic Tower and we finished it. And we had re-raise, which is why we were able to do that. Um, but at that point, every character can get Ultima. Why would you use any other type of black magic? It becomes a thing of, I could use these, but Ultima is unblockable, it's unreflectable, it hits everything, and it does the highest amount of damage out of any other uh, of the other spells. And unlike Meltdown, it doesn't hit you. So it's like... Why would I even bother grabbing Gravity or Quake or Meteor or any of those other spells when I can just do Ultima Quick, Ultima Quick, Ultima Quick repeatedly? And it's one of the things where you, you don't have to use it and it's like, oh, you can ignore it, you know, add the challenge. But then p people typically when they play the game, they're just going to get it anyway. So most people going through the game, the reason why I grind everyone up that high is because it's like people won't typically do that. But the one thing that they will do is they will get Ultima. Like, I remember the reason why I was able to finish this game no problem when I was a little kid is I'd give at least like four characters Ultima and just have them run at Kefka's tower and then just destroy it because that was how strong magic was. Or you'd like use Edgar and Sabin to just trivialize everything because you could get Sabin's best blitz from talking to Duncan and Edgar was just always powerful and you could use Runic from Celeste to just make it so that way enemies can't hit you with magic. There are a lot of things that you can do that trivialize a lot of things that you can learn. And it's just nice that they added that. And I just wish they were more impactful. Or at least... they were. Yeah, I just wish everything was more impactful and that it was more spread out. In a way that it didn't feel like it was just rushed progression. Because it has like this nice slope that I like saying that it, it follows where it just goes up and slowly you know it's not too crazy and then all of a sudden it hits this point where it's just like all right we've hit end game and then it just becomes this wall where you can just start going up immediately with everything that you can grab the hardest part of the game was what uh, when they made you have two to three parties 
Hmm. Well, even then, like, you could split your three strongest characters into those three parties, right? And as long as they have Ultima, you can just destroy everything. Or as long as you had a Genji glove with Master Scroll, you have a character that's just a buzzsaw that chops everyone down. You put that on Locke, and, and even early on, he just decimates enemies. And it's ridiculous how strong they can be. Is that a bad thing? No. But it kind of, like, unless I did the thing that I did where I just made everyone broken, it kind of makes them seem weaker when they're not, because everyone has their own strengths. It's just how hard it can be to actually attain that. Yeah, no, I, I can't blame them for anything. It's just, when I look back at it, that's like my only critique. Otherwise, I love the game, and it still stands up as my favorite RPG, and that's there's a reason why I still say that. It's my favorite RPG of all time. Does that mean I have to love everything? No. You don't have to necessarily love everything about something just because you say it's your favorite. You can understand its flaws. and wrong with it. You can love something that's universally hated by everything, like a movie or a game. Because other people don't like it doesn't mean you have to hate it. You can still love it and understand what sucks about it, but despite its flaws, you still enjoy it. Right? That's all. Just be mindful, you know, of the things that could be improved when, when you're thinking about stuff. And appreciate what they did right. Okay, that's enough of that. So those are just basically my final thoughts on the uh, game in, as in its entirety. Yeah, let's play a bit of the uh, the Elden Ring now, huh? Also, I will say, looking at the uh, my post game summary for achievements to show what I meant by people not really like leveling up people and still going through the game. Uh, there's an achievement called Season Hero, reach level fifty for all party members. Only 05 percent of the people who have Final Fantasy VI have gotten that. And only 0.8% of people have gotten all the Magicite. 1.3 have defeated Kefka. So it just shows, like, more people have beaten the game than they have gotten people to a certain level or even gotten all the Magicite, so... Yeah. There's a lot of things that can just be bypassed because the game kind of has a lot of things about it that can just be destroyed. That's all. <laughs>